Hey guys, it's me again, Mark. Welcome back to the Balcony Gardener. Today we're going to be talking about guppies giving birth. But before that, allow me to thank my friend Joey Lucindo for sharing this video of his aquarium, particularly his guppy aquarium, uh, for me to share this to my followers as to how the guppies actually give birth the process that it has to undertake and the struggles of the guppy mother to be able to give birth and how we can protect the fry from the other guppy predators and how could how we could give them a better chance of survival so joey thank you very much for this video um, but before we go on with this I would like to thank all of my followers for your continued support with my channel and I am very very uh, thankful because I have not been posting any video for the last couple of months and when I've actually checked my channel there was an explosion of subscribers and viewers and so much comments and attention to my channel so thank you so much for your support and so going back to our guppies um, guppies are probably the most popular uh, fish pets out there when you're starting to um, take care or when you start to buy an aquarium, guppies would always be the most popular thing to buy because they are the most beautiful looking and they have some elaborate um, patterns, especially the male guppies. And so they have become very popular with um, fish enthusiasts and the hobbyists and collectors out there. And I would strongly suggest that if you are a beginner to go with guppies because they're very, very easy to take care of if you know what you're doing. But then this video will cover the pregnancy of a female guppy and right in front of you in this video it will show you the mother guff mother guppy which is the star of our show and basically she's very very pregnant and as you notice she's about to explode and she will give birth anytime soon in this video um, but before that um, it takes probably um, a week or two before a gu guppy gets pregnant in your aquarium an adult guppy um, so as soon as you buy it and you mix it up with male guppies um, it would probably start getting pregnant um, in a week time or uh, in a two weeks time and there if you are mixing them uh, mixing them along with male guppies all throughout their life they will always always be pregnant so um, if you are collecting guppies and you wanted to reproduce them and you want to have more guppies it's a good idea to actually combine them with male guppies because they will always be uh, pregnant and you will have more and more guppies in your aquarium so um, you have to be also mindful with um, population explosion because if you have so much in your aquarium you might not want that so you might want to separate the female from the male or probably just buy a few females and more males but then buying um, very few females would also mean that this female would always get the attention of the male guppies and would stress her out so I think if you have probably 10 male guppies you should have at least three female guppies in your aquarium so that the stress and the tension of the male guppies would be divided into three female guppies but then um, if you're noticing that there's so much um, birth going on and there's so much fry in your um, aquarium you might want to separate the female from the male for a while and um, in that way there's no population explosion and so that your uh, pH balance or your nitrate balance in your aquarium would be maintained now going back to our star guppy she has been pregnant for i think 
two weeks now or a week and so she's ready to explode and she's ready to give birth and the first thing that you'd notice is that the size of the tummy is really really big and as you can see the other guppy next to her which is the same color as her is also pregnant but that pregnant guppy on the other side is not ready for birth yet because she's still going through the process but this one as you can see you can actually zoom it and see that a part of the baby fry is already coming out of its belly and it's about to come out anytime soon another indication of uh, guppy ready to give birth is that um, there's an inflammation at the lower part of the belly and that means that oh when you see it it's ready to be separated from the tank because all of these other guppies are potential predators of the baby fry that is about to come out they will eat the fry anything that fits into their mouth they will eat it if it's edible for them so you have to be mindful about your guppy giving birth and isolate them somewhere else in a container that does not have any other guppies and that the babies are safe but also you might want to put them in a container that um, separates th that has a division that allows the mother to give birth to guppies and the guppy uh, the, uh, the fries i mean the fry would go down into the separator and they would not be eaten by their own mother as well so there are other videos on youtube that you will see that but on this video we just wanted to show you how um, a mother guppy would give birth and as you can see the other guppies that are following the mother guppy are actually very um, uh, excited for the arrival of the babies or the fry because they can now smell potential food for them so while she is swimming around they can already taste a bit of the uh, fry coming out of her from some fluids coming out of her and they they would follow her and they are anticipating the arrival of the fries for them to eat it and that is why you have to separate them even more so this is not guppies trying to have um to trying to mate with her but these are guppies trying to eat her fry she will not defend her fry at all so oh my god so as you can see in this video a fry just came out there you go there's the fry it will only take a few seconds before yes that's it one of this guppy is noticed has noticed it and definitely will go after it and look it's trying to escape oh my god that's it the fry has been eaten by this guppy so it's a sad story but that's actually what happens they will eat every single fry that will come out of her and there's more that is coming out so the best thing to do is to separate our mother guppy from all of the other guppies in a separate aquarium okay oh there's another one there if you saw it right at the bottom when a guppy fry is born sometimes they stay at the bottom of the aquarium and on this video they are not actually seeing the fry or not they're not even really noticing it at all but they smell it so anytime soon they would also bite it or eat it and as you can see in this video the fry has come out again oh this is just a replay of the other of the previous um, fry that has been out from the belly so that is how savage that guppy out there is crazy so we have to move it out of there into this container over here and so you can see that all of this fries has just came out of her so she's not that inflated as she was earlier on but um in order for you to protect your fries you have to separate them into a smaller container such as this one 
But um, another suggestion that I would give you is to put a divider um, so that the little fries are able to escape towards the other side of the of the containers and so that the mother, their own mother, would not eat them too later on. But she seems very uncomfortable and she's just swimming around. Um, so much discomfort because you know what? Guppies actually... I've never seen a guppy mother that has a full-blown like pregnancy like this. She's really, really pregnant. Some of them are much smaller than this. But um, yeah, so according to my friend, this mother guppy has given birth to over a hundred guppies. And it is no longer um, alive because this video was taken quite a while back. but. Um, she has like over 100 guppies and some of them guppies are actually given to me by my friend and they are now in my own little pond here in my balcony. I'll show it to you when I get a chance to but um, her legacy lives on. So those little guppies out there actually live and they are currently in my pond and was given to me by my friend Joey who owns this guppy aquarium so another tip for taking care of your fry is that feeding them um, what we do is to feed them with brine shrimp and brine shrimp you can buy them in your local uh, fish shop um, they would normally be in a container but they come as eggs like really tiny eggs and you have to put them in a bottled water of one liter put a tablespoon of salt and then aerate them with your aerator and then the, after 24 hours this um, brine shrimp would be ready to be fed into your uh, fry and this is a very tiny little uh, brine so it would fit into their mouth and it's very nutritious and they would have a better chance to uh, live with all the nutrients that they get from it. So our guppy still hasn't stopped giving birth and she will be continuously giving birth to a lot more fry by the look of her tummy. So there's probably like, oh my God, over 30 guppies still inside her belly. So she will give birth for another couple of hours or even more. And there you go, there's another one that just came out. And as you can see, they would drop to the floor and then they would start swimming. And it's almost like they, you know, Evolution is amazing because they know that they're out there in the water and that they would start swimming like they've, you know, it's just their nature to swim around and like go up and get some uh, oxygen from top of the water and all that. It's amazing to watch. And if you can see from one guppy, mother guppy, you've got like all this newborn fry, which is amazing to watch. So as soon as you see that the tummy has gotten smaller um, and th if there's nothing else that is coming out from her belly, then that's the time that you move her back to along with the other guppies in the main aquarium and so that she wouldn't harm or try to eat her own babies because that's what they do. Guppies eat their own babies too. So basically, that's all that I can share with you in this video and if you have any questions or comments please let me know in the comment section below i would love to answer all of your questions thank you so much again for watching another episode of the balcony gardener and i hope to see you again next time and um, have a wonderful day there's more in this video so you can still keep watching it 
And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.